Hi, this is Prophetess Sophia Sabrina Acapo, and I wanted to give you a prophetic word on today that the Lord had spoken to my spirit, and it's actually going to be kind of a continuation uh, from the word that I gave on yesterday, and the title of that actual word was Purification for Elevation. Well, today, it's going to be a continuation um, also, but it has a different topic, including that purification. And the title of that prophetic word for today, the part two of it, is Purification, Consecrating, and Fasting. And as with any prophetic word, you would definitely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirits to affirm and confirm that this prophetic word is for you. So let me go ahead on with that continuation uh, from yesterday. So yesterday, I'm just going to give a little summary and then I'm going to get off into the rest of the word um, as far as the purification, consecration, and the fast. Um, so yesterday, we were um, discussing the extracting um, and just giving you a brief synopsis of yesterday. That way I can uh, flow on off into the consecrating and the fasting portion of it, okay? So yesterday we were talking about the um, extracting and the cleansing and the upgrading um, to a new dimension. And we talked about healing. We talked about uh, washing. We talked about purging. And I um, added some additional um, elements in there that the Lord had spoke to me about molding and shaping. Um, and also we talked about the shift that is emerging from a vertical and a horizontal position on yesterday. In consecration, the Lord is wanting you to declare, decree, and place a command on place a command on it before him. Totally and completely surrendering all to his throne of grace. He's wanting you to present your body sacrificially to him, holy and acceptable unto him. He wants you falling on your face before him in prayer and going into that throne room. And just that place of sanctification with him through freedom and liberation. Because the Lord is wanting to set you free from all the old things of the past, any indiscretions to pour in the new things due to it being a new dimension as well as a new season. I further hear the Lord is wanting you to fast. And I know in prayer on today, he was speaking to me, but I truly know that it just wasn't for me, but it was actually for the entire remnant um, of Christ. Um, so he is wanting to actually close some doors that are not supposed to be open and open and release the new increase. Even new doors. And he wants us to realize that our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. So he is wanting us to be able to discern some things that need to be addressed in our lives, even eliminated altogether for the new phase of the new doors, even new territories that uh, we are embarking upon. So being able to overtake some spiritual battles um, in order to release your inheritance as well as your harvest. Uh, spending time once again in prayer through um, a specified time or um, even days uh, through that fasting, like I mentioned earlier, to bring about alignment and order because God is a God of alignment as well as um, decent and order. And um, this can be done through worship, um, meditating on your word. Um, it can be done through um, as I mentioned, like, um, the fasting, consecration, um, the purification and the scripture that's in relation to that is going to be Acts 13 and two, while they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set apart 
for me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. So he's setting you apart. He's wanting you set apart um, for the master's use. He's wanting to set you um, apart so he can use you. So all of those um, old things and all of those unclean things, he's just wanting to cleanse you and purify you and um, produce some sanctification as far as that is concerned. Um, and also, I want to go back over a few scriptures that I had shared um, as well with this word on yesterday. Because it's definitely, you know, very, it's very important. So I definitely wanted to actually reiterate. And bear with me. I do apologize about that brief moment of silence. But I definitely know that these scriptures are absolutely, you know, very important. And okay, Holy Ghost, let me go ahead on and find them in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, so it's going to be Second Corinthians, um, chapter 7, verse 1. Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence. So I got to read that again because the Lord wants me to definitely read it again because it is very, very, very important. And that is 2 Corinthians um, chapter 7, verse 1. Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence. So just wanted to give you um, that prophetic word on today. I pray that it has encouraged you as well as edified you on today. And I love each and every one of you guys, but God loves you more. I want what's best for you. God as well wants what's best for you. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I will talk with you guys later. God bless each and every one of you. Take care. Bye-bye.